Hi friends, let me share with you my programming and gaming setup what I am using for iOS development and some casual gaming on spare time as well. For the desk I am using custom wooden desktop and electric seat stand legs from IKEA. Motors are not the best one but it works. I will not try to pronounce the name of my chair but you can find it in IKEA as well. It's not the most ergonomic chair but I like how it looks. On the desk I have desk shelf from Groomade uh, that allows me to keep uh, desk a bit more organized. I can hide my wireless chargers under it and other cables as well. Also there is place for all the small things. My main monitor 49 inch Dell standing on the Groomade desk shelf and it handles it just fine. Another 24 inches 4K LG monitor is mounted on the extra long monitor arm. I am using it for secondary information while 49 inch monitor is used for gaming or programming. Also it is very handy for video and photo editing when I need 4K reference monitor just to see how my video will look on <laughs> your screens. I have dual boot Hackintosh with mine operation system MacOS of course for software development but I have windows for gaming as well and when I switching to the windows this is not the best monitor what you could have for gaming. If you are playing competitive games on that this monitor may be too slow for that and also not all the games support extra wide screens and if you like streaming so wide monitor is not the best for streaming as well but the ultra wide monitor shines when I switch Hackintosh to MacOS to get work done. The ultra wide screen allows keeping three apps open. Usually I have Xcode in the middle and some additional information on the sides and I did a separate video for applications what I am using on MacOS if you are interested check that out as well. My current keyboard of choice is Equionix F96. It is not perfect but I like typing experience on it and it supports up to three Bluetooth devices connected and I love to switch for typing between my iPad, MacBook and Hackintosh. For mouse I am using quite popular MX Master S2. I got it two years ago, currently you will buy S3 mouse but I do not see reason to upgrade. There are plenty of additional functions on this mouse which I am not using but I really like this scroll, side scroll button and also that mouse supports again up to three connected devices and I am using this mouse with iPad my Hackintosh and 16 inch MacBook Pro. Really good functionality for that. For audio I am using Sony uh, with very hard to pronounce name but <laughs> MX4 those are noise cancelling headphones from Sony. One of the best in the market of course there is few other players as well. I choose this one and I like that there is multiple device support. I can switch Bluetooth connection from iPhone to Hackintosh or 16 inch MacBook Pro and yeah that is very handy. Those are a little bit pricey but noise cancelling is much better comparing with AirPods Pro and that was worth investing. Keeping in mind that currently we are working from home and there are kids with homeschooling as well and I have to have get some work done in relative silence. For microphone I am using the same microphone what is used currently on camera. My Rode Video microphone NTJ when it is not connected to the camera I am keeping that on the desk to use in video conferences. And for video conferences my Hackintosh don't have um, webcam and I hate how camera works on 16 inch MacBook Pro. It's very bad looking picture and so on. Basically I'm using the same setup like I'm using for this YouTube video recording. I am just using my mirrorless Canon EOS R camera with 15 to 35 millimeters lens. HDMI out port from the camera is connected to HDMI to USB adapter in computer and it makes my Hackintosh or Windows thinking that it is just simple web camera connected so I can use it in all the apps which supports web cameras. Skype, Zoom, Google Hangouts, 
you name it or just game streaming when I switch to the Windows, that works as well. We made it to my daily driver, dual boot, Windows, MacOS, <laughs> gaming, iOS development and video editing computer. For my Hackintosh build I got Asus ROG Gaming motherboard because it was one of the recommended and was available locally here. Uh, for processor I choose i9 processor, that is 8 cores processor which runs Xcode smoothly and it is kept cool by cooler master liquid cooling system. For now I have 32 GB of RAM but the system allows me to double that amount. For first build I used Radeon RX 60 graphics card but recently I upgraded to RX 5700 XT <laughs> to have more power for video editing and games and of course for programming RX 560 would be more than enough that upgrade was needed only for gaming and for faster video edits. For now I have 500 gigabyte drive for macOS and 4 terabyte hard drive for Windows installation and games. There is still a place for one more SSD M2 on mainboard and plenty of space for relatively slow but cheap hard drives. Video editing can take all the drive space that you have but that is the beauty on custom desk cutoff. You can add upgrades, change whatever hardware parts you like to. Last but not least part in this Hackintosh is a Bluetooth Wi-Fi adapter. And that is Fenvy T919 which works natively with MacOS. Bluetooth and Wi-Fi are very important parts of the build when you are building a Hackintosh because Without that you can't uh, get running messages, airdrop, all the things. But my current build works just fine. All the upgrades work smoothly from the App Store without problems. Uh, unlock with Apple Watch works, airdrop, messages, just name it. Basically if I comparing with 16 inch MacBook Pro everything works the same of course except uh, Touch ID. And uh, yeah, also of course you can build uh, iOS apps, run simulators, whatever. Everything is working just fine. So currently my 16 inch MacBook Pro is just backup device. This desktop is my main machine and I am grabbing this 16 inch MacBook Pro just when I am going to work somewhere outside my home office or I just like to sit on couch or somewhere else to get some work done to change environment and I already ordered a replacement for this 16 inch MacBook Pro. I ordered 13 inch MacBook Pro with new Apple M1 chip and I did that because uh, I do not trust to this MacBook Pro anymore. It was twice already in repair but uh, my reason is I just like to be able to run iOS and iPad apps on um, MacBook Pro and that new Apple M1 chip allows to do that. I like to see how my own and my customer apps are working on uh, MacBook. That is my reason and also I would like to have smaller laptop. Yes, this 16 inch screen is great but only when you're working. But when you carry it around, I, I'll, I before I use a 13 inch MacBook Pros and I like that size better. And I will link all the hardware below in description. If you like to check that out go and take a look and while you are going to the description there is like and subscribe buttons as well. If you like this video hit that like button that really helps for this channel and if you will decide to subscribe well that will be really appreciated. So thank you everyone for watching and see you on next one. Bye.